Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun video to show you the top five things you should do after in first installing Ubuntu 20.04. Okay, now let's get into it. So starting off, I always like to talk about the, the software sources. So if you were to go to the software and update manager here, just click that one here, sorry, software and updates it's called. And uh, you want to select the best preferred download mirror to get up faster updates and just so you're not waiting all day from them from overseas. So on the Ubuntu software tab, you just click on the other link here and then select best server. It will start to test for the best download server there for you. So like I say, not waiting there all day long for the, uh, an update to come to your machine. Now moving on to the next thing is a very popular one and I'll just close out of this if I can do so successfully, is updating uh, the, the drivers or adding the proprietary driver uh, information for say your CPU, your graphics card or your Wi-Fi just to make it more stable functioning make it work better that sort of thing and in order to do such a thing you'll need to type in additional drivers so this app here so once you load it, it does tend to load up first here in fact it was just a tab over from the the uh, previous step there just uh, coincidence has it and you've got a few options here uh, one is to uh, well actually you can't see all these ones these are all VMware based ones this isn't a real computer so I'm running on a virtual machine most of the time you'll see the option for M uh, CPU microcode or a graphics processing unit uh, proprietary uh, driver information there or even a Wi-Fi card because if none of these things are really working that well that's where you really want to hit up additional drivers and do those updates uh, do a bit of an apply change select whatever you want and away you go but uh, yeah always very very helpful particularly for Wi-Fi drivers when the Wi-Fi isn't working out of the box for you and it does need that proprietary information from the actual uh, provider of the hardware itself uh, moving on, we have something called GNOME Tweak Tool. Now, even before I show it, I'll probably show you guys how to install it. So you do go to a, um, a, a terminal there and type in sudo apt install GNOME Tweak Tool. Uh, throw in the prompts, throw in your password, all of that, and the way you go. Once it's installed, you will go to something called Tweaks, just Tweaks. It's really cool. So the point of this is just to tweak it up a bit, visually speaking, there for the most part. In fact, I've got this uh, cursor right now. Let's make it a horrible red glass, and there you go. Just a very uh, simple example of what's going on there. We can change a lot of things with the backgrounds, that kind of thing there as well. We've got extensions, we've got font changes, keyboard and mouse, startup applications, that's quite handy. Top bar uh, options, in fact, here we go. Battery percentage, I am running on a uh, laptop, so that's actually really handy, I'll keep that one on there. Uh, this, that, and the other. So plenty of little things there. Now, next up would be the uh, the appearance or dark mode option for Ubuntu. Now, this one is just more of a little bit of a fun thing here, but if you were to go to settings on the down arrow here, you will see an option called uh, appearance. So let's click across to that. Now, by standard, Ubuntu 20.04 does run on the uh, either the light or the standard. Either way, it's pretty light there. I think it's the standard, the one in the middle. I do happen to love, love, love dark mode. It's, uh, it's just just easier on the eyes for one. It has been proven to be much easier on your battery as well, particularly when you're dealing with OLED displays, things of that nature there, which comes in handy when you are running a uh, laptop there as well. Uh, but yeah, easier on the eyes in the very least. So I do love, love, love this one. So that was part of the settings appearance part there. And last but not least, uh, you guys might laugh at me for this one, but what is so great, I, I just you just cannot uh, state enough how good this is, but it is just purely the keyboard shortcut. So type, start typing in keyboard. You find the keyboard shortcuts there. I have uh, a couple of them here and there, but you can add some in. You've got uh, all the standard ones there as well. For instance, if you wanted to open a, a program such as, uh, let's say, VLC, a uh, popular video program, type in the name of uh, the shortcut you'll make. Next one is the actual command, which also happens to be VLC. And then you've got the option to uh, select uh, what you want the shortcut to be. Let's say Control Alt. Uh, L something unique that hasn't yet been added and then you, there you go there it is nice and easy 
So that's pretty much it guys, just a super simple quick fun video on uh, the top five things you should do after first installing in Ubuntu 20.04. Now this is my opinion, it's uh, not based on, uh, on anyone else, just what I like to do when I do firstly get Ubuntu installed out of the box. So thanks for watching again guys, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.